RJ, hey. Hey, Mayor. How are you? I'm great, how are you? Great, starting the day bright and early, I see. There's a lot of talk about being a morning person or a night owl. Which would you say that you are? I'm definitely a night owl. Okay, so we're in need of some morning fuel. Are you a coffee drinker, a tea drinker, energy drinks? I go for coffee with almond milk and then energy drink after that. So speaking of fueling, what fuels your passion for wellness? I mean, what's keeping you motivated? What keeps me motivated is having the energy that I need to be the best employee, the best mom, the best self I can be, and you do that by being healthy. Awesome. So speaking of what sounds like some advice, what advice would you give to women and girls going into or already working in a science-related field? So women and girls interested in a scientific-related field, be confident, be inquisitive, but never be afraid to pave your own path. Okay, so looks like there's some great art on the wall and we're heading somewhere where there's a closed door. Tell me about this space, what's going on? Yeah, check this out, really excited about this. This is our test kitchen. This is a new space that we developed for our nutrition experts to work on the innovative products that we bring to life. So this is where the magic happens. Speaking of experts, you've been part of 2,000 brand products at GNC over your nearly 20 year company career. What would you say is your proudest accomplishment, achievement, what is what is it for you? My proudest accomplishment or achievement is really building a team of nutrition experts and being able to leverage their knowledge, their passion, their expertise to really help people live well through nutrition. And this is where the team of experts gets to make great products and bring them to life. All right, Mary, tell me what we're doing here. So we are doing one of my favorite parts of my job, which is developing and creating new recipes. So we take GNC products and we develop a recipe with really healthy ingredients and we test every single one to make sure it's really delicious. Growing up, I thought you had to be a chef and have a culinary degree to develop recipes, but turns out you can do it as a dietitian. Love that. So speaking of our products, what makes GNC science-backed products unique? I mean, what makes us different than anything else there in the market? I'll say that the, the scientific um, evaluations in this team, what they do and how deep they go into the science is, is really unparalleled. We analyze every single ingredient, dose, the forms of the ingredient, and really try to find the best forms from all over the world to make sure that what's going in the product is going to actually be efficacious and benefit the customer at the end of the day. Amazing. Rachel Baker, music on or off while you work? What's your go-to song or musical artist? Uh, I would say music on for sure. It's always good to have that you know, company while you're working. Um, I don't think I have a particular you know, genre or choice that I always go to. It's always on rotation, either 80s, 90s, John Mayer, he's one of my faves. Um, you know, that's, that's about it. But Brittany, do you have anything? Do you have a hype song? Music is absolutely a necessity and is always on while I'm working. Right now, my favorite artist is Ella May. Okay. Talk to me a little bit about when you fell in love with science and how you knew it was the career path for you. So that's really interesting because I absolutely hated science growing up. And it wasn't until college when I started taking some science general education courses that I really started to understand. And the nutrition class is really what changed my life because I realized how much nutrition affects us on every single cell and being able to apply the science just really got me excited and that's when I chose to follow a scientific nutrition career path. So you're part of our scientific affairs group. What does that even mean and what role does it play at GNC? Scientific affairs role along with all the other team members is a really important step in all of our products looking at the ingredients and the research behind it. That's one of my favorite things to do is digging deep into the research. And just like Mary was talking about how we analyze everything, we really do. So having that scientific affairs team is important because we are digging through all of that research, making sure that every ingredient does what it says it's going to do. So part of that team is helping poke holes in the research and then identifying if we're able to stand by it because we believe that there's enough scientific evidence to support a specific claim that you might find on GNC products. Okay, so Mary told me about her favorite part of the job and then you've told us about kind of what inspired you to get into this career. Baker, what inspires you to do what you do every day here at GNC? 
Well, I think that you know what inspires me is that every day is like a, a new challenge. I'm always reading the latest research, learning about ingredients, learning about nutrition, how it's affecting our bodies. You know, and I have a, the ability to make an impact on so many people, not just you know one person I'm chatting to in the hospital. Um, I also feel like I work with an amazing team of women, and that is just really cool because I think that you know it's a great we're great role models for each other and for our kids. Okay, so speaking about nutrition, Mary, nutritional science, how are women's needs unique? Oh, between men and women, there are definitely some differences in what you need on a daily basis from a nutrient standpoint. So men and women do have some differences in terms of their physiology. Men tend to have more muscle mass. They tend to weigh a little bit more as well. So that means they require more calories and some of those macronutrients are higher too, especially protein. And then when it comes to the micronutrients, so think vitamins and minerals, there are gonna be things that women need more of. And one example is iron. And then even with, when in women's lifespan, whenever they're the, at their superhuman best when they're pregnant or breastfeeding, the needs for those nutrients are even higher, especially for iron. Amazing. We can't wait to see these recipes come to life. Thanks ladies, we'll see you in a bit. See ya. Lauren Green, just the woman I was looking for. You're a competitive power lifter, you're a GNC product formulator, you're a wife, you're a mom. You have a ton of life experience to draw on when you're working on new products. What are you working on right now? Well, I can't give away any trade secrets, but I'm doing a deep dive into a bunch of ingredients and formulations just for women. So speaking of women, why do you think it's important for women to have leading roles in science? Why not? Opportunities exist and they're limitless, so women should take them. So speaking of that, you've worked on a ton of GNC products over your career, including Concept X. Talk us through that. What were you most excited when you were building that out? That it's the biggest, baddest pre-workout and a woman formulated it. Leslie, we just were talking to Lauren Green about Concept X and all the amazing products we have. And as one of the leaders in our product development group, you have a heavy hand in the thousands of things that we build and sell for consumers so they can live well. What's your biggest piece of advice for the next generation of women in science? Wow, great question. Um, well, follow your passion. Don't look for shortcuts because there aren't any and surround yourself with really good people. So talk to me about some of the products that you swear by in your daily wellness routine. You have to have a multivitamin, fish oil, and probiotics. Speaking of products, tell me, what is your favorite GNC product? Oh, wow. Okay, I really love the Total Lean line. I like the bars and the shakes, multiple flavors to choose from. They fit into my daily routine. When you go to the store, you'll see how many different products there are to choose from. Amazing, we're gonna go check it out. Thanks, Leslie. Rach, hey. Oh, hey, Mayor. How What's are you? On? How are you? I'm great, how are you? Amazing. Rach, tell me what you do at GNC in one phrase. That's kind of hard to do in one phrase, but if I had to squeeze it into just one quick one, I'd say that we help people to live well through science. Speaking of science, we have an incredible women's portfolio made up of amazing science-backed products. Tell me what makes our stuff different than anything else. I could talk about this all day, but we have an incredible team of researchers who are constantly scouring the science for the latest and the greatest in ingredients, in doses, in health protocols, so that we can provide the best solutions for our consumers. And after that, we have an incredible product development team and an amazing quality team that makes sure all of our products are the top notch for our consumer base. So speaking of leading the category, what do you think is gonna be next for women in our industry? I really think that a huge opportunity is more and more women in leadership roles. Whether that be through a women-owned brand, which we carry many of and we're really proud of that, or through leadership roles in the different companies that we work with. Just like here at GNC, we've got lots and lots of incredible female leaders that I'm really lucky to work with every single day, and I hope to see lots more companies doing the same. Amazing. Um, last question. What do you hope the next generation of women and girls achieve in science? I really think that for, for young girls, and I actually have a daughter myself, that what I would love to see for that next generation of girls in science is a genuine, authentic interest in science that can help people and that can also lead them through a, a really fulfilling and enjoyable career that they love. Amazing, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Thanks, Mayor, I'll see you later.